like a bonfire. Growing up, I really loved anime and manga, but I never found any heroes that I particularly resonated with. I always liked Rock Lee from Naruto uh, after he received this like nickname of the master of hard work. I sort of, my arrogant side resonated with that because I looked at other people who just seemed able to do life and, and get around life and do things like normal people with no difficulties and I never understood how. And then when I was 15, I saw the 1990s berserk anime and my life changed. After consuming that in a couple of days, I went on to read the entirety of where the manga was up to at that point, continuing on from the anime. Um, and it was the first proper scene in manga I'd ever read. And it introduced me to ideas and concepts that I was probably too young for at the time. But in Guts, I finally found a character that I felt I resonated with. All these other shonen protagonists, their pains and their worries and their fears, I couldn't relate to them. They weren't real. I wasn't worried about the world ending like Goku and Naruto had to worry about. I wasn't worried about my entire village being defeated and trying to become the Hokage. No, I was worried about the pains and turmoils of everyday life, getting picked on, getting bullied, getting beaten up. And seeing a character like Guts watching his progression from the, the most unfortunate and miserable childhood and all of the events that occur within Berserk, it, it helped me understand depression. I hadn't really understood that I was suicidal, I was depressed or any of those sorts of things at that age in a proper cognitive manner. And reading this helped me process so many emotions that I'd been dealing with and it inspired my artwork more than any other series ever, other than maybe Dragon Ball. Um, to this day, I am still inspired more by Kentaro and Mira's works than anyone else ever. I recently discovered uh, an artist by the name of Gustav Dore, who is easily one of Kentaro and Mira's um, biggest uh, inspirations, biggest sources of inspiration. Gustav Dore is this 18th century or 19th century um, woodblock carver and illustrator and uh, you can very visually see lots of similarities between you can see where, where um, Kentaro drew inspiration from Gustav's works and in many ways he was the reincarnation of Leonardo da Vinci Gustav Dory all these incredible artists his technique was by far some of the most breathtaking shit ever ever and i talk about this in the past tense because at the start of the month kentaro mira passed away at age 54 from a random awful shocking uh aorta popping uh, just effectively like a heart attack or a stroke but and there's all these videos from people saying oh who the hell is berserk gonna finish who's gonna continue on berserk i don't give a fuck right now to be honest it can be a tool used for winning precious things as well as awesome feelings do go out to the entire community and I want to say thank you as well in many ways to the entire Berserk community because that shit I saw I've just, just been watching all these videos from like the Final Fantasy servers and stuff and like thank you guys that was like really touching for fuck's sake like really look at this this is just incredible.
Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, every single one of those games I played as the goddamn Dark Knight instantly got myself the biggest fucking dragon slaying grey sword I could and just... <laughs> so yeah, crazy seeing publications like The Sun and The uh, Guardian writing about Kendara and Mura, so surreal. Uh, it's tragic that, as with all great artists, yeah, he did well in life, but in death, he is going to be regarded by our generation as our generation's Da Vinci. Many, many years ago, back when I was a teacher, I ran this little uh, art club, you know, like anime and manga club after school, and uh, <coughs> I was just going to show them Berserk or anything, but some of the year 11s told me that they were reading Berserk, and I was like, that's literally my favourite manga of all time, and then next week, uh, they, they gave me this drawing as a present, like, that's been on my wall ever since, you know, I... Just so, thank you so much to the community for all the stuff you've done over the years, talking about Zerk, all the theory, YouTube channels, all the people breaking down the law, all the fan artists out there, everyone, all the, just the gaming community, the mad show of respect and love for the man that has hands down inspired so many of the best games of our generation. Quite simply, no no Kentaro Mura, no Dark Souls. No, no Kentaro Mura, no half of the best games from software. No Kentaro Mura, like the list of fucking references to his designs from Berserk across media and fiction is unfucking believable. Um, so, yeah, I don't think he had any family, but if he did, thoughts and like, I don't like saying thoughts and prayers, but genuinely thoughts and prayers to his family and friends, and as I say, to the community. Um, it's crazy seeing just how many of us he touched, and Yeah, it's weird. Like, literally the last time I was actually upset by finding out of celebrity's death, it was um, Chester Bennington. That's so what I mean, Dragon Ball Z, Berserk, and Linkin Park. That was my jam growing up. <laughs> um, a little bit of Gundam Wing thrown in the side, and a little bit of Gundam Seed as well, you know? See, so if you haven't read Berserk, well, why not? Hurry the fuck up. Go watch the 90s anime, go watch the three fairly decent-ish films, do not watch Clang 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 Clang. <sighs> really upsets me that that's like the last great bit of media, I think that, that kind of sucks that Kentaro Mira never got to see a really good adaptation of his works, but I still don't think he cared that much. The guy was clearly happy, like I think he'd gone a bit bored of Berserk be honest guys and I think he was clearly happier just sitting on the cash drawing other stuff and playing some idol master and you know what? who are we to blame him Rip Kentaro peace fam you're going to be all right you just stumbled over a stone in the road it means nothing your goal lies far beyond this, doesn't it? I'm sure you'll overcome this. You'll walk again. Soon.